So it's day five in Catalonia, next barbecue on. So what we're gonna do, so I've got some uh, eggplant, or aubergine, sliced. A bit of salt and pepper, olive oil, a bit of fig juice on there. Balsamic, we've got some pitters. I've marinated some chicken thigh overnight. That's a 24 hour herby and uh, salt, pepper, garlic, olive oil, marinade. Um, simple salad, bit of leaf, bit of pepper, bit of tomato, pepper, spring onion. Second salad, so we're gonna get it on the grill and you can see what you think. So yeah, so day five in Catalonia. Okay then people, this is my last uh, Catalonian barbecue. Just a bit more cold today, spread it out. So we've got chicken thigh in here, it's looking amazing. I've got some pork belly as well, so I might put this, this stuff on there. Just to, uh, I can just sear off a little. And we'll be on to the chicken. So I'm just going to seal it. Seven slices here. We'll move it to the side for a slower cook. Get it going. So it's just that olive oil, a few herbs, a bit of salt and pepper. Really simple marinade. Nothing fancy. Hold on. That's the last piece on. Basically there with the old charcoal. So we're going to let that go for a few minutes, flip it over and get this chicken on. So um, yeah, looking good. So that's belly pork. It's doing well actually. It's not, uh, it's not quite caramelising yet, so I'm going to keep it going and wait for the chicken. But uh, I've turned it a couple of times. You can see it's starting to sizzle a little bit, getting some nice smokiness. The coals are looking great. But, uh, I don't want to uh, do much yet, we're just going to give it more time and then move it to the side, put the chicken on and then it can always go on top. <coughs> we need it to be uh, slowly cooked, so we're just trying to get a bit of a bit of an outside edge, not burn the herbs of course. It's looking incredible, so uh, yeah, there's the valley port strips. Okay then guys, so I'm back for a really short video. I'm struggling with the heat here. My, my phone keeps overheating. I've just had to go and stick it in the freezer and then I'm back with you to uh, to video. So we've done a bit of sealing one side, getting a little bit of colour on the chicken. It's, it's only thigh, so it's, it's quite forgiving. But wow, I'm literally dying out here. But this chicken has already died, so we're going to do it justice. A bit of colour there. So, um, it's really, it's really quite nice cooking on charcoal. I know a lot of people like their gas, but actually I think the charcoal is the way to go. I'm just going to now watch all this stuff up so we get my pork strips back in. There we go. So we're getting a little bit more heat into the pork. And, uh, I don't know, the guy's trying to escape. I'm going to put him in the middle. So we'll just get a bit more heat into the pork now. It's looking good though, I'm quite impressed, but I've, I've not got to the aubergine yet. I'm going to do my meat, I'm going to get the aubergine on in a second, we'll, uh, and then we'll drop the meat on top of the aubergine is the plan. Uh, hopefully I'm not going to overheat. Okay then people, this is my final barbecue in uh, Catalonia. I've had my phone in the freezer, would you believe, in, in, incredible really. Just to just to make sure that it can take the heat, because the barbecue heat is incredible. The surrounding heat is incredible. We keep dimming the screen, um, but everything's looking great. Let's give everything a little turnover. Our aubergines have been on. Our barley pork's looking. Oh, that's looking great. It's a real nice crust. Look at that. These aubergines are looking incredible. A bit more there. I think I'm going to swap this one in. This chicken's looking good. So chicken thigh kind of broken up a bit but I didn't butcher it so I'm not going to upset myself but yeah it's looking um, it's looking really nice so so it's difficult with chicken but actually because it's over charcoal it feels quite squidgy but it's actually okay it's good because I've not overcooked it so I'm just going to move my belly pork in so the next plan is I'm going to get my pitters on so we've just got four pitter breads I'm just going to leave them on. I'm just going to take a bit of the juice. 
of the meat and then we'll do uh, so the idea is let it soak in I'm going to move the pitters away move the meat away put the pitters back on the grill and I'm going to put the meat on top and then that's done so the next time you see this uh, this other meat will be on my plate so there you go this is my last barbecue in Catalonia I am feeling very pleased with the pork and chicken I have Okay then, last video from barbecuing in Catalonia, so all the meat's to one side. You can see, just, can rest off a little bit, it's not a problem, it's so hot here, it's 34 degrees. Pitters are on, <clears throat> they've got a little bit of juices from the meat, so you can just give them a little bit of time. Longer than in the UK that you would do in a toaster, but I think because you've got the oil that's dripping, been on them it, it just makes them that much better but to be fair Catalonia Lidl you, you are incredible because these pitters have been sensational and the joke is why don't we have them in the UK we have some appalling pitter breads in the UK and um, kebab shops all the rest of it, it, it it's not good enough so there you go that's my shout out to kebab shop owners you're charging like 10 pounds for a kebab if you're not providing a pitter bread like this what the hell are you doing and if you're not providing meat like this, secondly, what the hell are you doing? But this is good. Oh, that looks so good. Give them one last turn over. There we go. And they're ready. I'm going to eat. It's a little bit later than I wanted, but my charcoal took just a little bit longer to get going. I think uh, days before there's been a little bit of breeze. I've, I've been out here blowing off video, doing a lot of blowing. Just to, just to get that heat in. But it's looking very nice. That chicken's looking very tender. That's, that's what I call a barbecue. Okay then guys, so we're all out and done. We've got chicken there, pork, the aubergine. We've got the pitters. It's looking incredible. I'm really chuffed with this barbecue. Last one in Catalonia. So you have to make it count, it's nothing fancy, it's just salt, pepper, bit of herbs, bit of garlic, bit of marinade, the chicken needed, and it's bizarre because it's gone. All, all those milk fats and milk solids have caramelised and dripped off the chicken, they kept the chicken moist, that's what you need if you're going to do barbecue chicken, chicken thighs. So um, don't feel afraid to use a lot of yoghurt, and the yoghurt works. And there you go, so I'm going to go in and enjoy my barbecue. Okay, so the meat, it's, it's already been demolished, partly. But, um, but I've got some salads now. Lovely Catalonian produce. Um, I've got my chicken, my belly pork, my aubergine. These pizzas are actually incredible. It's really very good. So that's it. So there's my barbecue. It's all done. I'm going to tuck in. Been well worth the strain. I think it must have been 37 degrees out there today. Um, it's, it's been hot, but the work has been worth it because that belly pork looks incredible. The chicken is really tender, and we've got some lovely salads to go with it. So there we go. So that's my last barbecue, of Kef my Kefalonian holiday, and uh, tune back in for the next holiday.